We are ready. We are ready to go to the Bahamas. We're gonna go celebrate on our friend's boat. That was the worst wake we've ever had. I'm Cindy, and this is Shell. We sold everything and set off on an adventure, living and cruising on a boat named Seashell. Click subscribe and sit back as we show you that it's possible for all of us to live an extraordinary life. We've been taking it easy in Florida for a few months shaking down the boat, waiting on deliveries and provisioning for another trip to our favorite cruising grounds, the beautiful Bahamas. One of our deliveries was a new 3.5 cubic foot freezer. Our previous ones failed after seven years of hard use. These cheap little freezers come in so handy when stocking up on our favorite foods for a long cruising season. We did a huge provisioning run today and we are ready. We are ready to go to the Bahamas. In early March, we untied the lines and headed south towards Miami to wait for a weather window. On the way, we really enjoyed Delray Beach with nice restaurants and shopping boutiques. Focus our eyes on the journey, stepping into the unknown, waving goodbye to our worry. We're ready to go. Over the years, we have often said we were heading south to Miami to wait for a crossing, but we would never make it. Once we arrived in Fort Lauderdale, we would always get a good weather window and just jump across to Bimini from there. This season was different and we finally got to see Miami. This is our first time here by boat or land. We spent a week or so in Mall Lake, a great protected anchorage in North Miami with easy access to West Marine, groceries and all sorts of shopping. We also took this time to start the install of our new solar panels. We go into detail on the installation and performance in a previous episode. Make sure to check it out. We anchored west of Key Biscayne. The anchorage is big and has great holding. Everybody seems to know this and is definitely a busy place on the weekends. We also got the pleasure to meet up with our good friends Paul and Shannon on Time Out. While waiting, we did some final provisioning and got to start the trip making some fun memories. We're getting ready. We see a crossing to the Bahamas and we're gonna go celebrate on our friend's boat. We will be crossing with Time Out, our first buddy boat since our first season with Living on the Edge. We are very selective of buddy boats and Shannon and Paul are some of the kindest easy going people we've met out here. Makes it easy to decide to cruise together. Oh yes, and they are a ton of fun. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. Wow, wow, wow. So you've been working out since yesterday. <laughs> We're ready to go. We're
The weather forecast for the crossings seemed fine, with one to two foot waves predicted no matter which source we checked. However, things started to get a little squirrely halfway across the Gulf Stream. The southeast waves grew taller and closer together, causing the boat to roll severely at times. To minimize the discomfort, we decided to veer a little south to take the waves more on the nose. However, we had to be careful not to go too far south. Despite our efforts, we still felt uncomfortable for a couple of hours. As always, when things get a little rough, we don't take video because we're just trying to hang on. Once we felt we had enough of an angle to turn north towards Bimini to have the waves on our stern quarter, we did so. But we weren't out of the woods yet. As the old saying goes, bad things tend to happen in threes. The second incident occurred as we approached Bimini when we heard a knocking sound coming from the starboard side of the boat. It's down here! It's knocking! So I think we've got something wrapped around our prop just when we were coming up a couple miles offshore from Bimini. There's a big bang all of a sudden coming from the starboard engine. Bang, 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 bang. And when I turned that engine in, or put that engine neutral and then put this one in forward gear a little bit, I still hear the bang, but it's much less pronounced. So I think the prop is freewheeling and hitting the bottom with some piece of plastic or a piece of wood or something. So I'm trying to go real slow into just off the beach here to anchor and get underwater and see if it actually is something tied to the prop. Because if I hit the banging we're hearing, not wrapped around a prop, then it's the transmission. Um, but anyway, uh, the engines are fine, They'll, but I got this one over on starboard turned off for now. But anyway, I'm trying to get into a safe place so I'm not rocking and rolling when I get into water. How was your crossing? Uh, <laughs> who makes these weather forecasts one to two footers? Like times three? Oh, By the time we got under the water to take a look, the object, whatever it was, had broken free, but a little bit of line remained. Just as we thought we could finally relax, the third incident happened. A local boat, which we won't name, came way too close to us, plowing with no regard for the huge wake it created. This wake was even worse than anything we experienced during the crossing, making us wonder why we're even doing this to ourselves. That was the worst wake we've ever had. Look at the house. Look what it's done. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Despite all of this, we finally docked in Bimini. With the boat's engine performing perfectly since we left Stewart, we felt confident enough to press on deeper into the Bahamas. And a couple of days later, we enjoyed a beautiful crossing across the Bahama Bank toward Chub Key. In fact, the day was so perfect that we anchored for the night in the middle of nowhere on the bank. Reminding us that when bad things happen in life, we just need to press on because right around the corner is the reward for our persistence, restoring the very reason why we live this lifestyle on the sea. The feeling of freedom and the adventure.
Where's all the How excited are you to go to the Bahamas? Do you know what Shannon's favorite wine is? I want to go to Bahamas. <laughs> Sorry, you can cut that. 